Terhi here. Take a cup of coffee. This is quite a long video. But I thought that uh, most of Creative Smile fans are card makers or traditional paper crafters, and not all scrapbookers like I am. So I thought, why not to make a video of really easy scrapbooking uh, with products you all card makers have. So, I'm starting with my paper cluster thing and cutting a lot of uh, papers. You can use any your stash or something. Something you have, maybe, uh, maybe some focus on the color scheme, not all red and blue bright colors to one, one layout, but if you're a card maker, you know <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying about colors. Uh, in this uh, layout, I'm using a picture of my paper flower bucket, which is turquoise and pink. So I chose my papers turquoise and pink. So it's really, really nice and smooth layout. Um, uh, I use these die cuts, which are really old, but now I get to use them. Uh, my daughter is in the same room crafting herself something, so don't mind if you see little hands here and there or something weird. Um, once my paper cluster is ready, I'm using Versamark ink uh, with this nice little flower stamp. Uh, I think this was the Plutonical flower set or something. I will, I will. Uh, make it sure and add the link to my blog and create a smile blog. Um, I'm using embossing ink because I'm going to color these stamps, which is really, like really weird thing for me to do. But this embossing thing uh, makes the coloring so much easier because you you can't cross the lines so bad. Uh, I'm also using Versamark pen to make some uh, uh, circles and dots with embossing ink. Um, it also gives some some little dimension for the paper. But as said, I'm not using uh, mixed media or any uh, heavy techniques, if that's the right word, because I want to make sure you all card makers have these stash. Uh, uh, products in your stash. And as you see, I made some embossing uh, letters. These are crystal letters, the upper ones from Create a Smile, and I'm coloring them with a distress marker. I thought this would be a nice title for the layout. Flowers are forever, like my workshop with this um, flower bucket. And I'm coloring these flowers too. Please don't add, um, don't give any attention for my coloring techniques because I suck at it, to be honest. But I'm trying my best, <laughs> you know. When I uh, read Create a Smile blog or see the pro projects you all have been linking to Create a Smile blog, I'm like, whoa, how could they do this so strict and they are so cute and oh oh my god anyway so my coloring isn't that good now i'm adding some thread to kind of um, get together this paper cluster and stamping and the title later so that's why i add the thread it also gives some texture and dimension for the page so it's really uh, important for me to have this kind of thing going on on the background it keeps all together, which is nice. Uh, I added a picture with 3D form, and now I'm cutting these uh, words to um, to right sizes and thinking about how I'm going to embellish the layout. I know I'm going to use some flare patterns and more paper slices because you you can never have too much paper on a layout, I think. Well, sometimes, but not this time. Anyway, I'm adding this striped paper uh, behind the words to kind of get them all um, 
together because it's kind of a sentimental phrase. Flowers are forever. Uh, so, so you can read it smoothly when you see the layout for the first time. Uh, these crystal letters are nice. You uh, have the uh, lower ones, the small ones, and these upper ones, the bigger ones. Uh, I really like them because not only they are cute, but like the first um, stamps where I saw A, Ö and O, which are for us <laughs> who live in Finland, or talk Finnish or Swedish or something, something like that. If you speak only English, you don't need them, but but they are very nice, especially if you do cards or something or want to have your titles on the scrapbook layout in your own language. So it's really nice to have um, all letters. So. I'm adding two flare buttons. These are also from Create a Smile, and I'm setting the thread the way it looks like it's not set it at all. <laughs> I hope I will do it well. Um, I'm using a 3D foam. I actually added first the uh, double-sided tape because the other part of this paper stripe will be on top of this player button and I don't want to be curly, curly, however you say it, but that's why I added some 3D foam to the other edge so it will be even. And here it is. Uh, I thought it will need some embellishment, so I found these nice little turquoise butterflies from my stash and now I'm adding some pink words. These are nice. These are re really even and sharp with this uh, square square uh, shape. So it gives kind of, or it really calms the layout down. That's what I was <laughs> thinking about, but I didn't find words for it. So I'm adding some here and there and then I thought it will need something. And if you don't own mist, uh, you can use any watercolors or your distress markers or distress inks to get something to um, flick on the paper uh, to give some color and kind of, um, again, keeping it all together. So I'm covering the picture with baby wipe and then adding some mist drop. Not much, but some. This is a teal green with some um, sheen in it, so it's really nice for this and it goes perfectly together with the butterflies. And, and so here it is. I hope you like it and I hope you like it because it was so simple and I hope to get you all card, make, all card makers to try even once for scrapbooking. It's so much fun. So if you do want, please let me see it at your link to this video or somewhere. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Hope you liked it. Bye.